Hi, hi, campers. All right. So, what magic can we create today? Yay! <laughs> so, welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you from around the world. Um, I know there's some countries that I'm missing at this time, but I get you guys uh, in the middle of the month, so that's all all good all good all good so welcome welcome so grateful to have you all here and uh what magic can we create is my question what would you like to create today that we haven't created before always a great question what fun can we have it's 7 30 in the morning and the ice is thick outside how does it get any better than that what does my phone say that the weather is like out there? Great question. So let me know if you are here. I would love to hear from you. Yay. Hey, Roxy. Hey, Doug. Hey, Susan. Hey, Terry. Hey, Sherry. Hi, Moonwind. 2.30 p.m. in Minnesota. Awesome. I bet it's warm over there. <laughs> Maybe I should start like a touring thing and I'll tour the warm countries <laughs> and just stay warm. It's cold. 35 degrees in Germany, says Karina. Ah! <laughs> That's too hot for me, actually. Um, I'm a 28 to 30 girl. Uh, Hey from Florida, hey Norma, hey Busha, hey Bridget. Now Bridget, I like that surname. I'm a Stark maiden name, but we're from the UK, so. Alright, guess what, I got a new phone. Ah! So I'm using my original phone as my camera, and um, now I can, I can read stuff. <laughs> So often I want to like look up who recommended something or something and I'm using my phone as my camera and I can't. Anyway, so two in the afternoon and 90 plus. That's warm. That's all I know. And I'm not really good at converting Fahrenheit to centigrade. 3.30 and in the 90s. Oh, how does it get any better than that? Yay, Cherie's here. Whoop, whoop. All right, guys. So, hey, Chris. Welcome, welcome. Right, guys. Chris is here. We can get started. <laughs> now, one of the things I need to know from you is what are we doing today? What, what are we painting on? Let me share my other camera. Yay! All right, so can you guys still hear me okay? Or have I stopped talking? Oh, got too many windows open. Typical humanoid. So let me know, am I still talking? Can you still hear me? Just need to check that my system is working. I'm 8 by 10, pink, yellow, and black. Awesome. Pink, yellow, and black. Yellow. Doug, it's very flattering that you know all my weak points. <laughs> oh, it's so cold my nose is running, so you're going to have to... going to have to um, apologise for me dabbing my nose regularly. Yes, you hear me. Good. Norma has a question. Do you gesso your canvas before using? Um, I buy pre-gessoed canvases. And, okay, so the way you can tell, um, canvas is soft and fluffy and quite often it's like a calico um, muslin type look, um, unbleached. 
but then if you look on the side or on the front you can see that it's white and it's sort of you can we actually see the you can see the grain of the material on the back there but on the side you can it, it looks like it's got paint on that means it's already pre-gessoed I know some people do um, additionally gesso on top of that I don't bother I personally my point of view is that it's already gesso <laughs> um, most of them actually say on the packaging that they are pre-gessoed like all these panels are always all pre-gessoed um, so no I don't pre-gesso the only time I gesso is if I'm reusing a canvas that I've painted on before um, and I've got videos on how to do that and stuff like that so stop talking yes Doug okay love you too uh, hi Amy <laughs> okay so what have we got this here is a bag that we got from somewhere Club Marine Insurance not going to walk around town carrying that around so I'm going to paint over it I have wrapped it onto a tray to give it some strength and some stability um, my hubby and eldest son are off to work it's Sunday freezing cold middle of winter and they're going to work <sighs> yes the joys of running your own concrete placement company you pour concrete on Saturday and it doesn't go off you have to get up on Sunday and go to work um, so that's one option we're going to pour on one side of that bag we've got an 8 by 10 just like Doug loves them uh, we've got a 5 by 7 little board and we've got a box that I can disassemble and we can paint all over uh, or we can paint assembled and see what happened then so tell me in the comments what would you like me to paint on that's our options and I'm going to start opening jars of color so you guys can see all the different paints I have so, black and white on pink I adore you Doug you do know you get a bit repetitive though eh So colours we've got crimson, I'm painting through you today Michelle says Curie, I paint in my mum's part of the house and she's having company so I can't spread paint everywhere right now. How rude of her to have visitors when you want to paint, that's just not a good mum is she? <laughs> Okay, we've got one vote for the bag. We've got one vote float cut on canvas, says Roxy. We've got one for eight for ten. Oh, Doug, me and my box. I know. I just want to paint all over my box in front of you. Nobody will let me paint on my box. You guys are rude. <coughs> Two for eight by ten. Yay, I see you, Isla. I see you. Shaking the head ass. Shaking. Oh, sorry. Um, if you can see this, the bag, it's ready to go. Yes, it is ready to go. I was doing it at 6 o'clock last night so that I could be ready for you and I didn't have to get up too early this morning. <laughs> As it was, I was awake at 5.30. All excited. I'm going to paint with my friends today. Bag. Hey Monica, welcome to your first live with me. Welcome, welcome. Yep, we got you, Isla. We got your canvas. So now we've got two for can, uh, three for canvas. Two for bag. Oh, maybe even four for canvas. Oh, no. Yeah, four for canvas. Do, 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 do. Three for bag. Oh, 
I'll include it in your package, Doug. <laughs> uh, I'd love to see you paint the bag. The box might be for a different channel. <laughs> I don't think YouTube would let me do that. But what do you reckon? <laughs> Canvas, box or bag? Bag. Bag. I'm getting a lot of bags here, so we're going to go for bag. Bag, bag, bag. Bag, bag. Bag, bag, bag. Bag, bag. Pop that over there. Okay. So, next question. We've had one suggestion for a float cup. Um, not so sure about float cup with this. I really don't particularly want it to be running over the sides. Uh, so, whatever we're doing with this. That's the one rule I have. Let's just readjust you a little bit. I'll zoom in once we're ready to go. Okay, colours. We have crimson red, vermilion orange, nice black. We have my own mix of red. There's not a lot of it, but that's the two, the red and the orange mixed together. And it's a really nice warm red rather than the harsh pink red. What's the bag made of? It's just that um, that it's kind of like that mesh fabric. Uh, Come on, zoom in. There we go. It's that mesh fabric, but then it's been printed on. And the whole thing has been printed. If you remember, I painted on one of these before. And I painted on the paint printed part. But the, the words have been left blank with no paint. These have got paint as the words as well. So this whole area has is sealed. It's kind of like a vinyl paint thing on it. Uh, okay. Black, pink, sky blue, and pink. Hi, Michelle. Warm here in Tennessee. <laughs> yes. We're on the other side of the world. It's gold. Green mixed with red. That's brown, darling. I love you. Okay. So this is cobalt blue. We've got marine blue. We've got fluoro blue. We've got phthalo blue. We've got cerulean blue. Deep turquoise. That's my blues. We could do a really wicked blue on blue on blue. <laughs> I've got so many blues. Do you think I might like blue? Maybe. Copper blue and Payne's grey. Somebody recommended... Copper and cerulean blue on black recently, and I've got it in my to do list. So that's uh, viridian hue, grass green, ochre yellow, which is very much like gold but not as shiny and pretty, Med medium yellow. Kind of takes over the world that one. I've got silver. Bronze, iridescent medium, white, and I mixed up some Payne's grey and some copper last night, but I'm not sure if they've, they were lumpy, so I haven't done a final check on them this morning. Oh, yep, but see, look, it's, the lumps have gone, they dissolved, yay. All right. Where was I up to? Black and red and question mark. Payne's grey and all the blues, copper and gold. Whoa. Deep turquoise. Orange, pink, I think everybody has. Um, between you all, you've listed all my colours. <laughs> Purple would be nice with some blues and copper. I 
I'm doing something like that recently. Not that recently. Okay. Uh, orange, pink, green, yellow, and your most favorite colors. So you just picked my four least favorite colors, and now you're telling me to add my favorite colors. I love you, Lynn. <laughs> uh, black, red, turquoise. Gold and black. Gold and the blues and turquoise. <coughs> pastel colors. I did a pastel color one yesterday, that weird thing that I did. Can you remember? <clears throat> if that's not pastel enough for you, I don't know what is, Douglas. <laughs> it's so weird. I couldn't believe I did that thing. So not me, pink. Um, where did we get to? Pastel and bronze. Black, red, turquoise, and bronze. Bronze, bronze, more bronze. Doug, I'm not a girly girl. Morning, Karen. West of Oz. West, 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 west. That's Melbourne side, is it? Black, red, turquoise, and bronze. Good afternoon, Team Hillary. All right, so well, I've got black on there already. How does it get any better than that? Um, I'm actually really liking the idea of all the blues since the bag is blue. And I do have some bronze. You asked for bronze, and somebody else said gold as well. So, oh. And we'll throw a bit of Payne's Grey, maybe. But not much. Alright. Oh, that is thick. Thick, 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 thick. <laughs> I am. Um, I don't know if you can tell. My water bottle is pretty empty, and I went to fill it up to make sure that we have water and ready and to do exactly what I'm doing now, which is thin my paint. And. Uh, it's so cold, the taps have frozen in my studio. I've got no water. I, I would never not have water <laughs> from freezing. It's so bizarre. <laughs> it doesn't get that cold in New Zealand. Well, it does, but not in Rotorua. Apparently it does. Global warming is real, guys. <laughs> It's so funny, people say that global warming is not happening, but it is. It has been colder every winter for the last five years. We've lived in Rotorua for nearly 17 years now. Oh, about 17. Yeah, no, coming up 17 years. And um, we've had, in the first 10 years, we had no snow ever in town. And we've had snowfall, not land and stay on the ground, but we've had actual snow um, three times in the last five years. So, Oh, you're in Turkey. Go Venta. Woohoo. It's Mickey, not Maggie, by the way. I'm hoping that's just a... Um, Autocorrect by your phone. Okay. Yay. The UK is in the house. Europe is in the house. How does it get any better than that? So anyway, telling the story about the water. My I messaged my husband. I've got no water. So he bought me a bottle of water. So now I have water. To thin my face with. Crikey. Does it get any better than this? Oh, 
Ina says, I was just about to say it's global warming. It's scary what's happening year by year as opposed to decade by decade, century by century. Exactly. Leave the water trickling so it doesn't freeze. I never expected it to freeze. <laughs> but then I don't normally come out here at this time in the morning. Because normally at this time in the morning, 28 days a month, I am um, doing my um, energetic life creation calls. Um, I have a group of people that come and play with me every morning at this time. And um, we connect with the reality we desire to create and pull that into existence. So that's, that's what I'm normally doing at this time in the morning. I'm snuggled up in my bed. Dressed beautifully, having had my shower, put, put my lipstick on. I never wear any other makeup, but um, sitting there chatting away to people all around the world, just like I'm doing today, which is why Europe, I can only do um, after the 28th of the month. Yes, Busha, it is very cold here in New Zealand. Uh, I don't know how cold it is here now, but when I woke up this morning, one of my friends down in, um, down the island a little bit has said that it was minus three degrees. Um, so I don't know what it is now. Cold. If I ask my phone, what, what does my phone say? I'm not, I'm not sure if it will uh Hey Google, <laughs> let's have a look, weather, weather, one degree apparently, one degree which is, let's have a look from Fahrenheit, 34 Fahrenheit, there you go, there's your answer, oh. snow in northern Florida, that's like, Okay. Hello from Pennsylvania. My wife and I love your videos. Yay! Thank you. Uh, so 34 Fahrenheit, Sheree, and 1 centigrade. <laughs> the rain's like it's 34 here in the UK. 34 centigrade. So that's almost too warm for me all right let's just stop talking Wait. i have people complaining <laughs> does this face look like it cares when people complain about me what if you were so comfortable with yourself that when other people moaned complained or told you you were bad and wrong you just looked at them with that's an interesting point of view because I really don't care what they think, to be honest. I am me. And I, this is my channel, so if you don't like it, go away. <laughs> uh, yeah, Auckland's always warm, Busha. <laughs> it's just the way that it is. Hey, for those of you that are finding me late and think wishing you'd know I was going coming on, um, you can sign up to my newsletter, and you get twenty four hours notice. Twenty four hours from what's that song? Twenty four hours from Tampa. Twenty four hours from Salsa. Twenty four hours. I don't know. Not relevant. Right. So what do we have? Gold, bronze, all blues, and maybe a little bit of. <clears throat> Am I doing a flip cup? Am I doing a dirty pour? Am I doing a um what's that thing? Egg separator, uh, or a. 
Sink strainer. Alright, where are we? Lack of caring about other people's opinion of me is why I'm finally able to come out as trans. I am so proud of you, Chris. It's so cool. I'm happier now than the previous 42 years of life. How does it get any better than that, guys? Just by letting going, go of your need to please others and to fit into other people's realities, you can be happy. I mean, that's... Part of why I wrote my book. Unlocking Unhappy by me. Um... What if you could have fun and not care about what other people thought? Be an allowance and be an allowance of everybody else's point of view as well. That's my target. Tulsa. Tulsa, thank you. Boop, boop. Hey, Max Media Girl. Welcome. What are we painting today? We're painting this plastic bag. Well, it's not plastic. It's, um, it's a shopping bag that I don't like. And we're just deciding whether I'm pouring, how I'm pouring. Duggar's not dirty. <laughs> A wandering ring pour. Uh, strainer, no egg. I'm being a bit of an egg today, but that's okay. Um, wandering ring pour. Duggar's not dirty, he shouted this morning. Sink strainer. Um, MMG's in the house. <laughs> How's it getting any better? Sink strainer. All right, we're having votes for sink strainer. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> now. Do, 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 do. So, are we... Right. This is where Michelle goes. Thanks, guys. Love you. Gonna paint now. We have Ultramarine. We have Furo. We have gold. We have phthalo blue. We have I'm going to leave the, the turquoise out. We have cerulean blue. I think I'm a bit thick there with it. That's okay. We're going to have bronze. We're going to have some very thin looking Payne's Grey, which is like a blue black. For those of you that go, why are you adding black? It's a blue black. And last but not least, we're going to have some cobalt blue. There we go. I don't know if you noticed, I went dark, light, metallic, dark, light, metallic, dark, light. No metal. Alright. Let's do this funky thing. As per normal, Doug is doing his tell me to do everything that 
other than what I'm doing. So basically what I'm doing is kind of like a ring pour out through the strainer. It's going to stop now. It's not very warm in here and my paint's not very thin. I'm going to have to wait. Hey, Tiston. Test, 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 then, test, then, test, I'm just going to wait and let the paint just seep out because it's not very warm. Maybe we need to warm it up a bit. What do you reckon? We've got no silicon in any of these paints, by the way, guys. Come on. The heat is on. I've got my heater going full bore. It's not very well. <laughs> I came out here at 6.30 this morning to turn the heater on so that it could be running for us, but it's not. Pop. Still cold. What am I pouring on? This is um, a like one of those shopping bag things that they give away at uh, what are those places called? When you go to expos and things like that, and they hand out bags. My husband went to a boat one, came back with this marine insurance, and I'm like, I'm not walking around town with marine insurance all over a bag. Is there a medium called interference used in acrylic pores? Um, I'm not sure if there's a medium. But I know that there is a um, there are definitely interference paints that you can buy, and um, it's they they're the sort that change colour depending on the angle that you're looking at. I love the cars that are painted with that, and they go from like purple to gold or whatever. They thanks, Carrie. Okay, just reminding everyone to give a thumbs up to this painting, this video. Oh, come on, paint. This is not, this is slow. Too slow. Too slow, Fargo. All right, let's fill it up a bit more. Come on, push it out the sides. Let's go. I don't want to overflow though. <laughs> it's pretty. What if I was to get a wet brush and start dragging it? I think that'll help. Help make it flow. Um, so test and one thing I've noticed is they, if they are, um, what's that word? If they're just that cloth, you need to gesso them first. Otherwise it just absorbs in and becomes fugly. What's that one I did?
while we're waiting for that to do its thing. So this is one I did and it had um, destroying my this is what it looked like to start with and so it's got printing where it's black writing it actually has no printing it's just the black material so if you look like that um, and when I poured on it or dipped on it it just absorbed straight through wherever there was just the plain material so where it was printed on it was fine but where it wasn't printed on it just absorbed through so this side <laughs> I gessoed um, with just with the black gesso so it matched the bag so you, yeah, you can see the gesso goes all the way out to here can't really see actually it's funny um, and the paint just worked beautifully this one is already printed on the whole thing the, the white writing is white printing it's printed so it's going slowly people very slowly I've got more paint <laughs> let's just tilt so this wetting seems to be working I want to wet all the way out to the parts that I want covered really weird testing that you're not getting the email um, send me a private message on Facebook and um, with your email address and I'll double check that you're in there also um, because it comes from MailChimp sometimes your email provider does silly spammy things and doesn't like You're getting your emails I haven't put gesso on this one no this is just straight onto the plastic plastic painting sheet doing whatever is on there already Yeah, I love the pattern on the inside of the strainer too. It's funky. Maybe we could dip a capuchon in there before we pull it out. The one thing I found with this bag is because it is printed on, um, it's creased. So... We do a dip for it. Milkshake. 
put shape the part. Your Tess and your Kiwi husband was Stan. Ah, oh, wonderful man. Bonjour from Le France de Français. Looks like sun and moon. Oh, yes, I agree. All right, I'm just going to dip this heart cabochon just in there, I think. Nice and shiny. Look at that. All right. It is time to finish this off. This is going so slow. All right. I'm going to lift and drain. Where am I putting this? Oh, let's just pop it over there. Okay. Needs more pink. <laughs> yes. Ah, no, 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 no. Alright, let's stretch this. Now, who knows the rules when tilting? Bring the paint back. Oh, well, that's so pretty. Bring the paint back before going in another direction. I want to make sure that I cover all the white lettering. We're gonna get a wiggly woggly, but that's okay. She goes now. Singing morning, morning. <laughs> the interesting thing is, the moon is at the top and the sun is at the bottom. No, cut yourself off and having to watch the commercial. Sorry. Don't cut yourself off in the future. See, be you and change the world, then you won't cut yourself off. Has anybody read that book, Be You, be you and Change the World by Dr. Dean here? It's an awesome book. Alright, now, what I want to do... So I'm really loving I'm really loving this part and this part's a bit boring 
So I'm going to stretch, bring it up. The thing with these bags is what I do with them is I um, paint Mickey art on them and use them in town and I paint over the bits I don't like. So I'm going to put Mickey art through there and leave the beautiful yumminess down there. Sun has come up and I'm really glad I closed the curtain so that we don't end up with wicked bright shadowy mess mess of lighting. It's kinda pretty. <laughs> kinda. Now I've still got paint in the cup, and what I'm really tempted to do is actually write Mickey art in here um, with the dribbles but what I want to make sure is that I don't have huge amounts of paint where I'm going to pour it uh, Okay, so sometimes what happens with the spam thing, guys, is what what people do is they go, oh, I don't want to receive that person's emails again. And instead of going to the bottom and hitting unsubscribe, they mark it as spam. And if, if enough people do that, then like Gmail and all the other places start going, oh, this person is sending out spam and automatically put my emails to from everyone or to everyone in spam not just the people that have marked it as spam so if you don't want to be on my mailing list which I'm probably not talking to the right people <laughs> but if you don't want to be on my mailing list and you have signed up please just unsubscribe don't mark it as spam yes I'm agreeing I'm going to take some photos of this before I do anything else because I really like it <laughs> I really like this patch here um, doo -doo. let's try and get get it without the, the shadowing so where's the fun part I was trying to take a photo when um without any reflection when it's shiny. Shiny happy people. Bye Chris. Could not find the link on your website for the digital print of your most famous painting. Would love to have a copy. Cool. You'll be talking about that one. Which is a bit blurry. That one. Um, so all you need to do is go to makingart.co.nz forward, forward, forward slash digitals. It's either digital or digitals. Let me write that down for you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, maybe I'll do it on one of these.
Now, somebody tell me whether it's got an S on the end or not. <laughs> I'm going to leave it without the S, but you might need to put an S. Okay. Right. Birds sitting on a bench. I'll believe you. <laughs> Can't see it, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Um, put it in a syringe to write with. Yeah, I don't have a syringe. It's really interesting. I, I see lots of people on YouTube using syringes. And they're just not that available here, here in New Zealand. You can't just waltz in somewhere and go. Are we ready for this? It does look like two different pores. Alright. It may not even work. But let's try it. No, there's not enough gold in this, I don't think. It's on there. It's on there. Can you see it? Probably not. <laughs> I really needed to have done that in gold. That's okay. I can go over it in gold. My daughter-in-law is a trainee, is a nurse, and grabbed me a couple of syringes from her placement. Oh, nice. I hope they weren't used. <laughs> Most drugstores will sell them, sell syringes. Easily, if you don't buy needles. Okay. I will try that. No gravy separators, no syringes. I thought I lived in backwards. <laughs> This is New Zealand, darling. We are the backwards of the backwards. Well, I'm really loving this area here. This is stunning. This bit, meh. How's it get any better? When it dries, outline it in pink. No S. Yes. Thank you, Isla. Awesome. So, yep. That is the correct URL. No S. Yes. Try the vet office. Good call. All right. Ah, got something dropped in it. No. Chunky red bit. Got it out. All right. Okay, guys. Let's. Just pop any ear bubbles going on in there because we really don't want that to. Well, that's not quite so bad because it's blue on blue. So if it ear bubbles all the way down to the bottom, it's just going to be blue shining through anyway. I really like these colours. These are yummy, yummy, yummy. That's actually the fluoro blue. Ooh, 
That'll draw interesting. And cause, mm. So the fluoro blue is actually really translucent. Transparent. Whatever that word is. I'm intrigued to see how this dries. La 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 la. Um. Do an and of sport and wipe off the bit you don't like. Yeah. If it was on a canvas, I would. But um, because of what this is, it doesn't have edges that I can run stuff off and it look good. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's all good. Um, yeah. I mean, I do have these things. Where are you? Yeah. And I've used those kind of as a, a drizzle stick before. Like this. I like the I'm making more of a mess. There you go, you can see it now. <laughs> green now, Doug. Green, okay. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Uh, now, there's an item you can't get locally. Hi, pets. I have actually found them in a number of places that I've kind of gone, oh, that's weird. But the one place I can guarantee that I can get them is the um, Emporium, which is kind of like a an everything type store. That compliment. Yay! Awesome. All right, guys. So, that ultramarine has actually got quite a um, purple tinge to it, hasn't it? It's weird. I'm just looking at what's in the pot. It's pretty. And what's in in there? Yes, the pot is very pretty. I'm thinking. You know me, thinking, thinking. Right. 
There we go. I'm thinking about maybe a oval cabochon through there. What do you reckon? No pleasure either. I adore you. It's only two or three days a month I can do this. <laughs> As I said earlier. Otherwise, I'm already up at this time. But I'm snuggled up in bed. Dressed up in my business wear. <laughs> a sense of depth coming on. How did you guess? All right, polished. Put the cabochon on the blue tag on. And going in. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like lapis. That's yummy. I like that. Super, super yummy. Yum, yum. And around one, and around one, do around one too. Where is it? Sometimes I have more fun playing with my dripping, drippings than I do making the painting. I so get you, A. Carrie. Do I ever get the munchies up with so much in my pot? I know what you mean, my dear Doug. And I'm not biting. I haven't actually had breakfast yet, so I am getting a bit peckish, but not from the amount that's in my, the amount of pot I've got. Um... Yay! Thank you, Norma. Enjoy. Hey, and those of you that have bought the digital, if you, um, you know, let me know. How did it go? Did it print out well? Are you pleased with it? Um, have you used it to print on something like a t-shirt or a mug or anything like that? Um, I'd love to know. Love to know. Love to see what you do with it. Does anyone want me to dip in there? Last chance and then I'm going to go. Because it's cold still. Even though I've got my heat hair running full bore. It's so bizarre. No, no response. Everybody's gone home. Everybody's decided, oh, yep, she's getting boring now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There is a post on, um, in the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Let me share it with you. Uh, which one do I need? It? That one. My beautiful friend Doug has asked, what are we doing for our July challenge? Whoop, whoop. July challenge. There are a number of suggestions in that challenge. Let's read them. Because um, I adore you all. Um, dips from drips, aka runoff. Fourth uh, of July or... A challenge that is from a country other than the US, different culture. Uh, Doug says lots of black as normal. Nights, night slash galaxy scenes. Lynn said yin yang paintings, two different styles, um, or two different rings, two different color temperatures, 
different hemispheres, blah, 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 all those cool ideas. Uh, don't put it like this. Um, someone else, uh, Michelle, not me, another Michelle put uh, unusual texture. Rick suggested wave swipes. And somebody else posted something today as well, and I have no idea what it was. I really like the textures idea. Um, I've been wanting, I've been wanting an excuse to buy some texturing. <laughs> you know me, any excuse will do, really. But if I can prove that it's for business, um, you know, I get to claim it as a business expense. How's it get any better than that? Um, so, any other suggestions? Anyone got any ideas? Anything in addition to that? Dip it, dip it, dip it, yay. Hey, Andrea, we were just reading your response to a July challenge. Do I steal it with anything? No, I don't. I just love it. And when it falls apart, I throw it away because that's all I was going to do with the bag anyway. Or are you talking the cabochons? Because that's a different story. Have to seal the cabochons when using just plain acrylic paint. Sorry, out of shot. Go that way. Um, dip it. Dip it real good. Dip it. Dip it. Um, <laughs> oh, Cherie, you're a bit late, my darling, for making suggestions, but we did paint on the bag. That's handy. <laughs> I love it when people come in late and YouTube decides to get, show it to them from the beginning and not from where we were actually at. It's funny. Fireworks colours. Did you know that nobody else in the world other than America does 4th of July? Oddly enough, because it's something to do with your, like, being the United States. And we're not. Funny that. Uh, what are you guys saying we're doing? Dip it. What's that door now? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Where are you? That is cool. That looks like fireworks. There you go, Tina Marie. There's my fireworks. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. So, if you're asking about do I seal the cabochons, um, there is a link in the description below that tells you all, um, that teaches you how to do cabochons. And I'm not going to go into it right now. But yes, if it's acrylic paint, normal acrylic paint, yes, you need to. If you're dipping into glass paint, uh, and I've also found that the porcelain paint by Pabo, you don't need to seal it. Uh, okay, right, you, know, you meant the bag. No, I answered that one. Um, oh, yummy. Oh, that's what. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting myself confused. And how's it getting any better? Independence, that's the word when you ran away from England. See ya. Um, <laughs> oh. See? We haven't done that yet. We are still a sovereign state. So, care, see our, what we call, what's called Waitangi Day, which is when the Maoris and the English signed a treaty, is the 6th of February. So, we're long gone. We don't tend to do Guy Fawkes, like fireworks for that. We do celebrate Guy Fawkes Day, which is, 
um, 5th of November, that's our fireworks day. In fact, you can only buy fireworks in New Zealand in the three or four days before the 5th of November. It's the only time you're allowed to buy fireworks. And um, so that's always interesting. Um, commercial explosions are allowed, <laughs> but not private ones. Is my camera really fuzzy or is it just my eyesight? Because it's a bit fuzzy. Sorry. I've been trying to make myself look prettier by the time. Oh look, crisp and clear. You can see my wrinkles now. Hi! <laughs> Sorry. Nobody noticed. Nobody said anything. Alright guys. I am waffling now. I'm gonna stop waffling. I tend to find that when I am waffling. Every day I waffling. So there we go. That's what we painted, Andrea. We painted a bag for me to waltz around town in. I am more than likely going to tutu with these words because that's not pretty. Um, but I love that, and I've taken photos, and I will take more photos. Love it, love it, love it. So guys, I'm going to say adieu to you and you and you, and um, I adore you all. Thank you for coming to play. Thank you for watching my channel. Um, if you want to sign up to get notification of when I'm going live again, check out that URL. Stay calm and waffle on. Love it. Symptoms of hypothermia. Exactly. It's cold. No, it's actually hanging up finally. The sun is out. Look, what's this? Drink, drink. <coughs> Sunshine! Sunshine arriving! Uh, anyway, if you want to buy that digital print, it's there. And if you want to like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and just an FYI for those of you who don't know how it works. You know how these ads at the beginning or during my videos, if you let those run for at least 30 seconds or until the ad's finished, up to you, um, then I get paid like six cents. You know, you pay in your time to gift money to me. So um, that's... And... Um, Yeah, and if you want to pay in money, paypal.me forward slash Mickey Art. Uh, or you can buy one of my paintings or my pendants or something like that. I'd much rather sell you something than you donate money. Um, the pendants are only $5 shipping, so yeah. Anyway, oh, Isla's putting her name on the rectangular cabochon. Gotcha. Let me do that now. Oh, no. <laughs> any better than that. Uh, 89 degrees wherever Linda is. 92. This is Andrea. Well, what time, what are we up to now? Let me see what my phone says. Mm. Update. We're up to 35 Fahrenheit, which is 2 degrees. 2 degrees or 35 in Fahrenheit. But it will be a sunny day. Yay! We will have a high of 12. That's exciting. <laughs> Do you ship everywhere? Yes, I ship everywhere. Shipping on Capuchons is only $5 to anywhere in the world. Uh, I can fit them into an envelope, make them look like a envelope. And uh, I can fit two, cab uh, two pendants 
into an envelope or four cabochons um, without pendants and necklaces and stuff into an envelope. So um, let me know. Always happy to to send them off to people who are going to enjoy them instead of having them sitting in piles around me. <laughs> Beach weather. Yeah. Only if you don't want your bits frozen off. That's all I can say. Anyway, I adore you. Mwah. Have an amazing day. And how much more of you can you allow yourself to be today? I adore you. Have fun. Bye-bye. See you, see ya.